This is Ben Johnson again, and today I'm going to talk about evolution. I want to be the very best, like no one ever was. To catch them is my real test, to train them is my cause. I will travel across the land, searching far and About evolution and I'm gonna simply show you how fake and false it really is uh, first of all we're gonna talk about the flagellum okay a flagellum is like it's like a cell but it has a little tail with it so it just swim through uh, areas and And what uh, and so this the little tail that it has to help it swim is made up of four, over 40 protein parts. Okay, so every component of all the little proteins help it work. It's almost like an engine on a boat. Every little part of the engine is what helps is what helps the propeller move and stuff and go through the water. And if you take out one of those components of the engine on the boat, it doesn't work. It's the same with the flagellum. It's been proven scientifically. You take out one of the protein parts, just one, it does not work. Sense. Okay, then another thing about evolution that it just the transitional fossils. Okay, Though, these are the fossils which are from like according to evolution. Here's what the animal used to look like, maybe a horse or something, and here's what it looks like now. Okay, so you have these two, and that's what it looks like before and now. And transitional fossils are are the ones in between are the fossils in between these and really there's so few of them they'll maybe find like maybe five or ten of them in the whole planet of 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 an animal and all of a sudden they'll create some big map showing how it changed but really transitional fossils there should be so many more of them in the earth we should be able to find so many more, but there's so few of them. We just find the fossils mostly, the majority of them, of what the animal looks like already. And so it really doesn't... What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. May God have mercy on your soul. Okay, and then another thing, I've heard this from people, it's... If evolution is true, where do morals come from? Where do we get the thought that this is right, this is wrong? Like, Everyone knows that that murdering someone is not right, but where do we get that from? According to evolution, we're just here, it doesn't matter, so according to evolution, we can just do whatever we want and it doesn't matter. That just doesn't make sense. Morals had to come from somewhere, that's why it proves that creationism is more correct than any of this because. Creationism is real. Gotta quit a creative flagellum just like that. Okay, same with transitional fossils, there was none. Because there is none on the earth, that proves that they're all 
that God created it like it is right now. And morals, God created them. God gave us a conscience. God gave us something to think out of and make our own decisions. And he puts his conscience in us so that we know what's wrong and what's right. And so I just want you to think about that. And I want to know what you guys have to, that what you think about this video, any questions or comments that you might have. Thanks a lot for listening to my video. See you later.